guys, how's it going? So, for the next four days, we are in Mykonos for two and Santorini in two. And what we're gonna do here is see which location is better for photos. So I'm gonna take a bunch of photos of Mykonos, a bunch of photos of Santorini, I'm gonna post them to my Instagram and see which ones you like better. Because, let's say you don't have enough time to visit both of them and you only have time to visit one, which one is gonna be the better one? Especially if you like shooting photos, you like photography. So I'm just gonna shoot a bunch and we'll see which one wins at the end. And if you remember from my Indonesia video, oh, I'm watching your photo. Hey, oh, yeah. We are also photo back with Eliza. Hey. New crew, this is Eliza. So yeah, a year ago, we traveled together in Indonesia and then always traveling with Jordan. Yeah! crashes right up against the buildings. Hopefully we get some shots here. <laughs> so here we are in Paradise Beach, Mykonos. And one thing about Mykonos is that it's super windy here and so hard to fly the drone. So we flew our drone down the beach and it could barely even make it back. So that means the wind speed is like 50 to 70 kilometers an hour. So really hard to get any sort of drone footage here on Mykonos, but we'll try it anyways. So let's do it. No SD card inserted. A few moments okay. later. Oh, wow, wind tunnel through here. All right, so our tour group right now is in one of these dance bars. Let's wheel this down. So Jordan and I are gonna go check it out. Perhaps do a little dancing? Party! Maybe a little dancing? Party! Yeah. Go do a 30 minute power dance and we're out of there. Right, so we have finished up the day. The party was pretty fun. There was a few, there was a few Domazettis there, I'm not gonna lie, but it was still a blast hanging out with the Travel Talk group, and we just were dancing and having fun with the group, so that was awesome. And then we had sunset on the roof, on the rooftop pool. That was amazing, super cool night. You can still see the colors in the sky now with the cruise ships in the harbor. But yeah, that wraps it up for day two here in Mykonos. Tomorrow we're headed to Santorini. Looking forward to getting some photos there. All right, catch you in Santorini. All right, so we've arrived here to Santorini and we're at the highest point called Prophet Elias, which is Prophet Elijah. Santorini is way less windy than Mykonos, which is quite nice. We'll actually get some drone shots here. So the photos might be a bit difficult to compare, but we'll do it anyways. And it'll be all good. Mykonos is super fun, but I think I'm already biased to Santorini, but we'll see.
by this point when you've seen the video, the voting will already have been completed on my Instagram. So I am gonna insert my bias here. For my personal preferences, Santorini is just so much more beautiful. <laughs> There's so much to see and do. We've been like cruising around the island all day. There's cliff jumping, which we're doing later. And just the photo opportunities here are unreal. I think Mykonos really is great for details and alleyways and flowers and really kind of portraiture photography. But as for landscapes, which is my preference, it's Santorini wins. However, we'll see what the votes are at the end of the video. All right, it's cruise time. It's cruise squad. Huh? This could mean only one thing. We have the job. We found. Cliff jumping spot in Greece, jump into the blue ass water finally. Never jumped into official, official blue, blue ass, ass water. water. This is the first time it's official. Hey George, what do you feel? I feel like everybody is just always in Greece. Cody would be proud. Cody would be proud. How blue is that? I've never even seen that shade of blue before. Sunset Santorini comes random white rooftop. It's a beautiful view. What about you? What happened to your face? Are you turning your face that way? Wow, look at that. Guess what? Lobster's expensive, which means I'm high class, baby. Hey. What happened, George? Why are you so burnt? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can like put a hand print into his face. No, we're, we're, our white balance is way off Look at those, look right at those eyes, look at those yeah, eyes. You look can, we just, can we just quickly adjust this white balance? Oh, ew, ew. Yeah. Oh, I like that. oh, this one's good. Yeah. So that's it for this trip here. We had a day in Athens and four days on the islands with Travel Talk Tours in Greece. Travel Talk Tours, come and see what you up to in Santorini. Travel Talk Tours, it's the one for you. If you don't like them, they still like you. <laughs> yeah, respect. I was on top of Jordan Freestyle. <laughs> Lifestyle Jordan Eliza, starring roles. It was great. Look at that. Beautiful awesome. night. Beautiful sunset. We're out of here. All right, so I posted the photos to my Instagram. The results are in. And before we get into the results, I just want to say that this is not a perfect metric. And photography is completely subjective. So it's just whatever you like is completely fine. And no one can tell anybody what to do or what not to do because it's just up to you. And also, it was so hard to actually choose two similar photos from each place to compare. So again, this is a flawed metric. But whatever, the goal here is to give you an idea of what each island is like. So let's hope we accomplish that at least. Let's jump into the votes and see what you said. All right, so for the first one, we have two photos of the back of Eliza. It was a win by a landslide for Santorini, 3,000 to 800. Next one was two drone shots. I wanted to try and find two drone shots that were pretty equal. And Mykonos actually really was a much better shot than Santorini as the votes show here. But I do think Santorini is much better for droning. Main, the main reason is, is that it was so windy in Mykonos, we couldn't really drone at all because every time we put our drone up, we could barely get it back. So that was kind of an issue. Next photo, I tried to compare two action shots. So one with the water crashing, one with cliff jumping. And as you can see there, the cliff jumping photo won by a decent number. Next one, this one was really close. And I actually personally liked the one from Mykonos better because I just love that minimal style where it's just a really white washed out back wall and just the flower and the subject in the shot. I personally like that one. However, Santorini won just by a little bit. It was almost 50-50, which is fair. It was a really nice landscape. Next one here is also pretty tight. We have the one of Mykonos with the really nice houses in the background, colorful railings, etc. And then one of just looking out at the water in Santorini. And it was close, but Santorini won again. 
And then finally, we have two sunsets, one in Mykonos, one in Santorini. And it's actually really hard to find a good spot in Mykonos to shoot the sunset with some of the landscape in. So this was sort of one of the best ones we could find was with the windmills and the sunset going down there. But again, Santorini sunsets are really hard to beat. So the votes show it there. All right, that's it for the voting. So Santorini takes the win here. But again, this is not any sort of real competition or metric. It's just to give you a great idea of what it's like to shoot in Mykonos and Santorini. If you prefer what's going on in Mykonos, that's great. And Santorini, likewise, all is good. There's no right answer here. Thank you to Travel Talk Tours for partnering with us for this trip. If you want to check out the trip we did, the link is in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe to Jordan as well. Thanks for watching and thanks for making it this far. If you did enjoy the video, if you thought it helped, give it a thumbs up. It really truly does help my channel. Leave a comment down below and consider subscribing if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.